What's up today guys? So today we are doing a little bit of a makeup video and we are taking a look at my nude brown lip liners. This is my full collection. So for the most part these are lip liners that are going to be in the brown category. So pink nudes, brown nudes, red brown type of shades, that kind of thing. That's what we're looking at today. And I'll go ahead and do swatches of each of these and just kind of go over them a touch. And so, if you just want to see what I have in my collection, then please keep watching. So the first one here is a Jordana lip liner. Now Jordana has since went out of business, so these pencils are no longer available. But I do have their full line of lip, pro or lip liners here. So this one is in the shade Deep Nude. And taking a look, deep nude, it just looks like this. And this is a type of nude that I like, kind of chocolatey, kind of taupey. So I've gotten some good use out of that one. This I don't think is actually like a lip liner, but I did just put it in my lip liner collection to use it that way. This is from Tristique. And this is a mini matte lip crayon in the shade Nantucket Nude. So looking at this lip product here, if we swatch it out, it just looks like this, which is basically one of those concealer nudes, so like a really warm, peachy toned nude. So I haven't really got any use out of that because I would have to put a lipstick on top of that for me to be able to use that. Then here we have another Jordana lip liner. This one is in the shade Bare Blush. And this one, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a full swatch out of it. It looks like it needs sharpened. But again, this is a shade that I like. It's got a pink tone to it. And so it doesn't look very much brown, very much nude, because it does have that pinkness to it. Which I think is pretty on its own as far as nude lips go. So pink nudes and like more red-brown shades I'll use on their own. But anything more like brown... I always put something on top of it for sure. This one is the Jordana lip liner in the shade Toast. This one was like one of my absolute favorites to use. Why? Because it's definitely more berry-ish. Got some red in there. You may be able to see that, I'm not sure. But it's a very pretty color on its own and it's really nice in the fall. And it's a shame, these Jordana lip liners were so good and so affordable. It's a shame that they went out of business. This one I have not opened yet. It's the Jordana lip liner in the shade Plum Brown. This is a NYX lip liner pencil. This one is in the shade Never. This is a really good lip liner pencil too. Again, for like NYX, you'll have to take a gander through their color selection that they have available because I don't know if this is something that's still available. But this is definitely more purple, but it's not like a true purple. It's got some brown to it there. It's a very much deeper brown purple. Very pretty though. Next is a ColourPop Libby pencil. This one is in the shade Cool BFF. And as you can imagine, this is a cool brownie nude. Looks like that. It almost looks taupey. But it has a little bit more brown in it than purple, so it's, it's definitely a brown. But it's really pretty, though. I would highly recommend this one from ColourPop. And then this is another NYX lip liner. This one is in the shade Mauve. At one point in time, I used to have all of these NYX pencil, um, sharpenable pencil liners. But today I just do not. Right there, did I say what the color this is? Mauve. So this one's kind of purpley as well. So again, this is another Jordana lip liner that I have not opened yet. This is in the shade Keiko Coco. This is definitely not a brown, but somehow it's in here, so we're just going to go with it. This is a Maybelline Color Blur lip product. They don't make these anymore. This is in the shade. It's a cream matte pencil. In the shade, I like to mauve it. So, I had a few of these, and I did keep them in my lip liner collection. 
I think these twist up, don't they? Why is oh, they twist from the bottom. They twist from the bottom. Okay. So I did use these as like lip liners. There is that one. This one's kind of more pink in tone, but it's still pretty. These were good lip products. I don't know why they discontinue everything so quickly, Maybelline, but they do. Here's another lip liner pencil. Uh, this one is in the shade Flower. To be honest, this one's not really a nude. I'm not even sure why it's in my nude lip collection, but it looks like this. It's just one of those, um, can you see that? Like a metallic pink. It's almost weird for a lip liner because metallic pink, you would think that'd be like an eyeliner, but it's definitely in their lip liner collection or it was at one point in time whenever I purchased it. So it looks like that. This is another unopened Jordana lip liner. This one is in the shade Natural Silk. Another NYX lip liner crayon in Peekaboo Neutral. I used to use this one so, so much. So, so much. This is definitely more of a warm neutral, so it's got some pink in there. And it looks almost great on the lips. Like, I used this one by itself all of the time because of how warm and pink it was. All right, so this next one is a Jordana lip liner pencil, and this one is in the shade Spiced Rum. So this one I got a lot of use out of as well. This one is more orangey, like an orangey brown. It's a warmer orangey brown, but there it is there. And the in the video, it almost looks super similar to this, but it's really not. This one is good, like if you want to mix it with a red lip and just kind of give a new spin on a red lip, that one's good for that. All right, and then next is the Jordana lip liner in the shade Cider. And Cider looks like this right here. So that's Cider. This one's really pretty too. It's almost like a reddened cocoa brown shade. Very pretty. Alright, this is a purple lip liner. So this is a, slide, a NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On, definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. I don't think that they make these anymore, but this one is in the shade Nebula. I used to have a couple of these. Like I said, this one's definitely purple. Almost a true purple. It's really pretty though. These were good lip liners, but they probably got rid of them because nobody wanted to fuss with them because of the super long name, I'm going to guess. That was one of the major gripes I seen for those lip liners. Here is another ColourPop lip pencil in the shade Little One. So Little One is very similar to Cool BFF, but not exactly the same. There is a little one there and then I believe this one is cool BFF so they're similar but this one definitely is more warmer has more oranginess peachiness in there well I guess that wouldn't really be similar because one's warm and one's cool but whatever Oh, trying to describe colors is like extremely difficult task. This is the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. This one was super popular for a long time. As you can see why, it's very pretty. It's definitely a beige and obviously nude. It's like the most neutral lip liner I've ever seen. Definitely in the middle there. Right, this is a NYX retractable lip liner and, and they're waterproof and this is in the shade Natural. Now I know people who like the NYX retractable lip liners but honestly I just prefer the pencil sharpenable lip liners. And also the sharpenable ones are less expensive than these but there's nothing wrong with these. They're super great. They're just more expensive is all. So this is a very like cool toned nude 
but it's a really nice pretty color there though. This is a MAC lip pencil in the shade Current. This is also purple. Oh, and it might be dried out. Good lord. Maybe if we warm it up a bit it'll work, yeah. Warming them up a bit works. That's definitely purple, look at that. It's a nice plummy purple. Very pretty though. That would be great for the fall and winter. MAC lip liners are really good quality in my opinion. It's just that they're obviously way more expensive than these drugstore ones I've been showing you. But they're also, you get a, a lot more pencil. Like this is a full NYX pencil versus the MAC pencil. Hold on. Let's get the full pencils in frame. And even them out. But... Yeah, so as you can tell, you get a lot more pencil with the MAC over like the NYX. And they are really good quality, but like I said, they are more expensive. However, though, out of all these lip liners that I have here, I think they're all good. This is an Ofra lip liner in the shade Wine. I don't even know if Ofra still sells lip liners. I've had this forever. So long that I didn't even realize I've had it. But there it is. And this is a pretty good lip liner as well. It's a nice, you know, easy to use matte formula. That is just a basic purpley toned nude shade there. Like I said, I don't even know if Ofra still has lip liners. But if they do, they're a good quality. These are also good quality considering their price point. These are the AOA Studio Wonder Lip Liners. This one is in the shade Nude. I either had a ton of their lip liners or a ton of their eyeliners at one point. Where they went, I do not know. But I'll show you with this one. Okay, so this one is in the shade Nude. These are really good. <laughs> but look at this color. <laughs> That's like straight up orange. See the tip there? And then, yeah. That's, that's the only thing is the pencil don't really match the color and... This is called Nude, and that's orange. <laughs> that's the only thing. But if you find colors that you like, the quality on these are, are really great. And it's, unless they've changed their prices, these are like a dollar a piece. And then I do have one last pencil. This is a NYX lip, lip liner in the shade Prune. So this is going to be a purpley shade again. But it's one that I have used a ton but as you can see why, out of the three like purple ones that I have, or four, there's another one somewhere. This one's probably my favorite purple because it's more like a medium cooler tone purple, which is what I prefer. And I did have a lot of use out of that one. So I am wearing right now the lip liner in the shade Bare Blush. I knew that I was going to do this video and then a palette bingo video so I did want to do a nude lip because I didn't know what my eye would look would look like today and so I did choose this lip liner right here to wear anyways guys this is my nude lip liner collection so hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe hopefully you'll have a great day and I'll see you on the next video bye